Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today with logarithm. Not always I make problem with logarithm, but today we have a really interesting one. We have logarithm square root of x equal to square root of logarithm x. How can we find our answer? First of all, I wanted to rewrite it in another way, and we are going to use a lot of properties right here. Firstly, I write this x square root of x as x to the power one half. What we will have? We will have logarithm x to the power one half equal to logarithm, of course, with square root sine, logarithm square root of x. Okay, what are we going to do next? We need to know a really good property, the main log property that we that we need right here is when we have a power right here, this power jumps right here in the beginning. Is this property looks like that, logarithm x to the power a equal to a logarithm, logarithm x. So this goes power right here in the beginning. So let's use this property. We will have one half logarithm x equal to square root of logarithm logarithm x. And if you look closely to this, we have two completely the same values. We have logarithm x and we have logarithm x. So we can easily use a substitution right here. So let, let logarithm x will be equal to, for example, t. What equation we will have? We will have t over 2 equal to square root of t. And right now, let's go. Let's square root both sides. We will have t square over 4 equal to equal to t. So I hope you understand this step. What are we going to do next? How can we easily solve it? We need to bring this t or just multiplying, cross multiplying, cross multiplying. We will have that t square equal to 4t classic equation, bring this 40 on the left, t square minus 40 equal to zero, and we'll t factor in t, we'll have t minus 4 equal to zero, so we'll have two roots, the first one t equal to zero, and the second one t minus 4 equal to zero, which signals us that we'll have t equal to 4, the second root. So we'll have two t, the first one and the second one, and right now we're going to Solve it further, a little bit further. What we will have? We have a substitution. So this logarithm x equal to t. So we'll have first first equation. Logarithm x, logarithm x equal to t, but t equal to zero. So we will have logarithm x equal to zero. And how can you find this answer? Of course, our x will be equal to 10 to the power zero, because right now we are talking about base of 10. I don't I don't write it, but we're talking about base of 10 and our x first equal to 1. This is our first first root. And let's go next. Let's go further. Let's find it. t equal to 4. So we will have logarithm x equal to 4. So our x will be equal to 10 to the fourth power, which signals us that we will have 10,000. Our x second will be equal to 10, 10,000. This is our two roots in this equation. So I hope you understand this explanation. Of course, we can we can check it. Let's check it. Let's prove this this answer. So x equal to one. What we'll have? We'll have logarithm square root of one equal to square root of logarithm one. Of course, we will have logarithm one on the left equal to square root of zero. So zero equal to zero, which is absolutely correct. So this one is good for us. And let's check another one. X equal to ten to the fourth power. We will have logarithm square root of 10 to the fourth power equal to square root of logarithm 10 to the fourth power. And if we take square root from here, we will have logarithm 10 square equal to square root of 4 logarithm logarithm 10. And if we look closely to this, we can easily see that right here 2 goes in the beginning, so 2 logarithm 10 equal to 2 square root of logarithm 10 logarithm 10 but logarithm 10 equal to 1 so we will have 2 equal to equal to 2 which is absolutely correct so as you can see second root is good for us if you still have any question write your question in comment it will be really nice to read it and of course subscribe for videos i really appreciate it it helps me a lot it inspires me a lot to make a new new interesting mass content thank you for watching and see you in the next videos